You know how kids can sometimes do things? You know, like, do things you weren't expecting? Like this, for instance. Yesterday, my nephew uh, came over, and he and uh, his cousin were uh, just gathering bricks from the side of the house and uh, had it in the had it in their w wagon so rather than simply put it back where it is I think what I'm gonna do first is build me a little rocket stove I counted the bricks and there should be enough so I'm gonna try my hand at building a rocket stove using these bricks now it's been done quite a few times before in several different channels too many to count really but I want to try my hand at it and see if I can do it. Stay tuned. Okay, here's what I've done so far. Uh, rather than just go with the traditional 16 or 24 brick method, I've got it three bricks wide and two bricks long. That way I could have this thing, this uh, pathway for the fuel to get in sideways all the way here and I'm going to use this to minimize the hole so that it's not too big to go out and so that hopefully if everything goes well the fire will go sideways and up like it's supposed to. I may just go ahead and add a couple more bricks to get this right here to be um, a little more stable. Let me do that. Stay tuned. Well, I did one better. I found me a nice little paper stone. Oh, here's Odie. Uh, gotta look and see what's going on. Hello, Odie. But anyway, I found this paper stone. So I set it here, and that way, I just have this little bit for the outlet, and this much for the inlet. So, let's gather some fuel and light this candle. Okay, I think I've gathered enough for just the testing. So what I'm going to do now is I got some dried leaves down here because you should light here first. So I'm going to do that and then slowly put the wood in soon as it starts burning. Probably not dry enough. We'll see. <sighs> Okay, so far so good. Oh, yes, nice. All right. The thing I like about rocket stoves is that you don't really need that much fuel. Okay, now, oh, it's looking nice now. Probably not as efficient as I would like.
Okay, so far so good. Alright. Let me put some more. Gives me a good excuse to do some much needed yard clearing. Get some Most of what's burning right now are just dried leaves. Let's get some hard wood going. Okay. I would say that is a success. The wood itself is now burning and it's already used up some of the long sticks and made them shorter. Now, one thing I have noticed is there's a lot of smoke coming out. So I have a feeling that I didn't do it quite right and that I really should have made it a little different. Okay, I think the fire is gone out. Let me see if I can restoke it. Take long, did it? Oh, yeah. Darn my eyes. Whew. 
Oh, smoke. Yeah, well, a rocket stove can sure put up a lot of heat with very little fuel, but I need to figure out how to do so. Without all this smoke. Okay. Well, let's just file this under Bob's Brick Rocket Stove Take One. And leave it at that. Got a lot more studying to do. A lot more studying to do to get it right. But then again, It does work. It's getting the proper air and fuel mixture. I could feed it in through the side here. Yeah. All in all, all in all, I think working out well but not well enough oh. okay sorry about that <laughs> What's that? well it's my futile attempt at a rocket stove That's <laughs> all right. Well, take one, not bad, but definitely use a ton of improvement. And this is where, hopefully. You guys can come in and help teach me how to do things right. Because I'm new to this. I'm not going to lie. I am not claiming at all to be an expert at anything. I mean, me, I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to prep. Learning the things, the skills that I need to do proper prepping. And I subscribe to a lot of folks that, you know, know what they're doing. A heck of a lot better than I do. So, this is my brick rocket stove take one. Or mark one. Or whatever you like to call it. Hopefully the next project I do will be a little bit better. Eventually, I'm going to try to make another rocket stove again. Hopefully I can build one that doesn't, that can not have to pour out so much smoke. Okay, well... That was a good first take. First rocket stove I ever built on my own. I gotta admit that up until now I've basically done a lot of studying and watching other people try and do uh, things like build their own rocket stoves or build their own windmills and and go out and uh, live the off-grid life. Whereas I'm still kind of stuck in suburbia, so to speak. But I do want to one day, and hopefully not too far off in the distant future, I do want to 
finally be able to live a more sustainable, simple life. And one that is off grid. Not have to bow and cringe to the utilities. Be able to make my own power and get my own water. And be able to enjoy the, not just the good things in life, but even some of the creature comforts of the modern era without having to pay the outrageous electricity bills that come with it. And I know that I got a long way to go before I can say that I'm living that kind of life. But that's really the mission of what I'm doing, bugging out with Bob. And that is, it's really about me learning the skills that I'm going to need to learn in order to be able to do what I need to do. And I'm going to make a ton of mistakes, and I'm telling you that right now. And sometimes it might even be humorous. But what I'm hoping is that in the process of trial and error, I can learn uh, the skills that I'm going to need to be self-sufficient, to be able to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, and not have to rely on society's needs or rely on uh, uh, terrorist-backed oil companies to get things done. So, I hope that uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, appreciate uh, the work that I'm going to be doing because I think one thing about this is that really I'm like you. I mean, that's all there is to it. I'm just like you. You know, I'm curious. The very fact that you're watching this video now means that you're probably already looked at quite a few uh, YouTube sites with uh, other folks that uh, teach prepping, self-reliance, self-sufficiency, uh, off-grid living, and the such. And so you're already curious and you already want to know. Well, so do I. And hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel and hopefully we'll learn together as I, as well as you, go to other sites and learn from the experts. And starting with this particular video, I made uh, a rocket stove for this episode. Uh, in future episodes, I want to do things like uh, build an Altoid stove, make an Altoid survival tin, uh, maybe uh, use a tarp to build a shelter, uh, all sorts of things, all sorts of stuff. Uh, another future video is that I have in, in my house a sort of backup emergency electricity uh, plan, so to speak. Well, uh, let, let me just put it this way. It's a couple of deep cycle batteries, a battery charger, and an inverter. Simple as that. Basically to make sure that should the electricity go out, I at least have something available. Uh, I'll definitely make a video on that and let you see it and show you what I'm talking about because it that's the sort of thing that with a little bit of money uh, you can have an emergency backup uh, 
electricity grid of your own. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this is Robert Lantern, and you've been bugging out with Bob. Good day.